Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Singapore. Right now I am at the Teka Center, which is a wonderful food court, hawker center, slash shopping center of all things in Little India. And it's one of the best places to come if you are looking for Indian food. This is a very popular market and food center just immediately right off the Little India MRT station and it's right in Little India in Singapore. On the bottom floor is a big food center which is a giant food court, open air food court and while there are some Chinese food dishes, stalls available, the majority of the stalls at this hawker center are all Indian and there are some Malay as well but really, I think it really focuses on the Indian stalls. So if you're looking for curry, if you're looking for prata, if you're looking for uh, biryani rice, uh, this is one of the ultimate places to come in Singapore. And then also on the other side there is a fresh market where you can get all sorts of produce and then there are also a lot of shopping stalls where you can buy clothes. This is kind of an all-in-one Indian shopping center and food court in the heart of Singapore. One of the things that I had to order was a roti prata and this is a prata, I got it with an egg and onions on the inside. He stretched out the dough and then added some an egg and some onions into the middle and then folded it into a, a little package and he fried it up fresh. I'm gonna eat this right now because it is hot and fresh and served with a curry sauce. Oh ho, 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 yes, all oh, the aroma. Oh, oh that's really hot. Okay, let me just break into that. Oh you can sm wow, that's even hot to touch. You can smell that aroma, the onions and the egg in there. Go for a quick dip in the curry sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh that's just awesomely good. The roti, it is a little crispy on the edges but most of the roti is just kind of sticky and doughy. And then the inside is filled with an egg as well as onions which are very fragrant and still a little bit crisp. And then yeah definitely taking it to the next level is that curry sauce. That's where a lot of flavor comes from and the curry sauce is not spicy, it's mild but it's really it really goes well together with that plain roti. This makes a great breakfast because it's kind of an all-in-one um, little meal and with your eggs inside there as well. Mm. That's just simple and good. Another one of the stalls here at Teka Center that I was really looking forward to trying was Aladdin's Nasi Biryani and they specialize in dum biryani and when you walk up to the front there you can just smell the aroma of the spices. You can see the giant pots that they cook the, the rice and the chicken in and so I ordered a plate and what he did was he really carefully dished out some rice onto the plate, just a couple scoops at first and then after that he topped it with a piece of chicken and then after that he went back to the pot of rice and scooped on some more rice on top of that so the chicken is sort of sandwich between two layers of rice and then after that I had it I got an egg on the side and then he served it with a side bowl of curry sauce and so this is the complete dish the rice is very orange and yellow colorful long strand, strands of um, basmati rice there are onions in here it the aroma is fantastic I also got it with an egg on the side and I'm just gonna try some of that rice first all oh, that rice has a beautiful fragrance to it. I think I can taste some cardamom in there, maybe some cloves, and definitely some cumin. The rice is a little bit moist. Um, it really depends on what type of biryani you have. Sometimes it's more dry, other times it's this one is a little more on the moist side. Um, and also you can really taste those onions, really fragrant onions in that rice as well. Is that uh, a chicken leg, I believe? I can't even, oh look at how tender that, oh that chicken just slipped off. Oh look at that. And I better take a bite with just some of that sauce before I go into the curry sauce. Oh that chicken is so soft and tender. Sometimes when chicken is really, really soft, it tends to get mushy and 
sort of like starchy almost. But somehow this chicken is ridiculously soft, but it's not mushy at all. And it's just, it's brilliant. Wow. And then with that curry sauce, and then with that spiced, fragrant rice, that is just simply a marvelous combination. Add some of that curry sauce to the egg. Oh yeah, it's a chunky curry sauce. There are curry leaves in here and there's potatoes in here as well. Mm -hmm. Those curry leaves are brilliant. The curry sauce has a really nice fragrance from the, the curry leaves used in there. And I believe that there's also eggplant in that curry sauce, which has been cooked for so long that it started to dissolve into the curry sauce. So it's, it's almost kind of thickened by that eggplant. Mm. That was a great plate of nasi biryani. And I'm still amazed at how the chicken was so soft, but the texture remained really good and not mushy. That was delicious. And really this entire Tekka Center, it's a wonderful, wonderful place to come if you love Indian food. I noticed mostly South Indian food, but really a, a broad spectrum of different dishes to order, lots of stalls. And when you walk around, you can just smell the aroma of those spices within the humidity of the air of Singapore. It's beautiful. I want to thank all of you who recommended the Tekka Center to come for to eat. This is a wonderful place and I appreciate you all recommending it. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe for more food videos and I will see you on the next food video.